I think today's words are going to change the way you play bebop lines. At least, that's what happened to me when I started practicing them. Don't forget to stick around until the end of the video where I'll show you how to get the PDF for today's lesson. So these are no ordinary words. Today, we'll be looking at rhythmic words that create compound rhythms. These words allow you to play two rhythms at the same time by using shapes and accents. We've used these two words in line number six of our Bebop Lines You Should Know book. So let's look at word number five. At first glance, this looks like a simple word made out of a stream of eighth notes. We start on beat one and end on the and of three of the second measure. But we're going to add accents on specific beats like this. So we're creating a second layer with another rhythm. This is what we call a compound rhythm, and it's essential in bebop. The cool thing about this way of playing lines is that the unaccented notes are only there to fill in the spaces. They help create a groove, and so they could actually be any note that we want, literally. The actual line is the one that you're playing with the accented notes. When you play lines like this, you want to think of shapes created by the group of notes using the accented notes as boundaries. For example, if I play this, I'm playing the same note on every accented note and the same shapes, moving up to target each accented note. I'm thinking of the groups created by the accented notes. Three plus four plus three plus two plus one plus one. These shapes help us to create the accents and also think of target notes without worrying too much about the notes in between. And without using this perspective, it's almost impossible to play lines like this. Using changes in direction and leaps before or after accented notes is the most effective technique. For example, I can play this. Or this. Or this. A nice way of hearing these shapes before you play them is by learning the word as an actual word. And you should practice saying this word while clapping or snapping your fingers on two and four. Say it slowly and increase the tempo gradually. If you can say the word, you can play it. The next word uses almost the same rhythm, but the accents are in different places and we implemented a quarter note. Now you want to think two plus three plus three plus quarter plus two plus one plus one. So as always, let's play the A section of Afternoon in Paris. First the head, then word five two times, word six two times, and then both words back to back like this. As always, all of our members will have access to the PDF for this lesson. Just go to the membership tab 
and click on the link provided in the latest post. There, you'll find this lesson's PDF at the top, and if you scroll down, you'll see all the PDFs that are available to you. If you're not a member yet and you'd like to become one, just use the join button right here on YouTube. Also, if you want to access PDFs outside of your window of accessibility, you can get our Music Theory Journal, which is basically an almanac of all the content we've created to this point, available on mdex.com. Go ahead and stick around and watch one of these two videos, and we'll catch you next time. Thanks.